Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Lizzie Hawker again uh, after Run Rabbit Run this time. How you doing, Lizzie? Good, thank you. Yes, and you? I'm doing well. We both got to catch up on a little sleep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, that, she's a good question to start with. You've run UTMB. You've run this. Have you run any? Well, you did Western States. I was going to ask yeah. you whether you'd done any uh, hundreds that had a, a morning start that you got to go to bed and catch some rest, but... Uh, how does the night, how do you, you know, you've done a ton of races now that you've mm -hmm. run through the night. What's your approach? Um, I guess try and sleep well as you can the week before. This time it was a bit, <laughs> a bit hard with traveling so close to the race because I know I didn't catch up. So during the race I was more tired than I, than I would be. Um, I actually find races starting about midnight the hardest because I can never sleep the night before. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're kind of ready to sleep on the start line. If it starts earlier, at least the adrenaline's kind of got you going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you have plenty of time to get going before yeah. uh, the middle of the night this yeah. time. Yeah. Um, you did, however, have a, uh, an early hiccup in your run. Mm. When did you fall? About six miles in. It was literally just at the top of Mount Werner, just after that on the beautiful trail up there. I don't, don't know why. I just stumbled, but I just fell really, really heavily on my knee. So I'm kind of a bit cross because the race then for me, I guess, became about just coping with the pain um, and whether I could carry on running rather than being able to just try to run the best that I could sort of thing. So it was a bit frustrating in that respect. Yeah, normally during a race you are, you know, very focused and very... And even in your focus, like, you, your emotion was showing when you came into that mile 28 station with, with Chrissy mm. there, and uh, mm. you could just tell that... <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> it was not good, and honestly, it didn't... I thought you were going to run the mile across town to the next aid station, and... Yeah. Might not leave that one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, is it doing any better? I mean, is it, is it a, something that's going to affect you long term, or is this... Um, I hope not. A strong I saw the medical guys last night, and they said it's just... Well, the swelling's just on top of the knee rather than in the kneecap, yeah. so I think it'll blow up a bit the next day or two and then hopefully come down. I think it was just such a hard bang that it has really, really bruised it. So yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that it bothered you, but I'm glad that it's not uh, <laughs> not something you're going to have to deal with. Yeah, um, fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. Um, but have, are you going to have to deal with it on, on travel back to Europe right away? When do you le go home? Um, yeah, I go home on Monday, so... Yeah. That's another good question, I think, for you. You've also traveled a lot for racing. What is your, you know, strategy before and after the race? Do you have a sort of a, a normal routine or? Um, well, like I said, I, I like to try and kind of have a quiet week the week before a race and try and, you know, get some early sleep if you're missing a night racing. Yeah. Um, Does so that, mean that kind of gets a bit messed up when you're traveling. So do you try to travel early or do you just try to, you travel a lot, do you just try to do it at the last minute, more or less? Um, just whatever works yeah. out, often what flight is the, <laughs> the best deal, Yeah. Um, and kind of commitments at home and stuff. Um, so yeah, you just have to deal with <laughs> what you've got <laughs> and try and do the best. Like everybody else, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, in UTMB and a lot of European races, there aren't pacers. And it sort of, mm. it definitely was something that came up with some of the runners. Mm -hmm. um, how do you, it, it race like this past weekend, you were alone mm -hmm. the entire race. There were no women mm -hmm. ra you were racing. I don't, did you have any time when you were really racing any of the other guys or running with them? Not really in passing, but I can't remember running for a spell at all really, no. So you're in your head for, especially yeah. all night. Yeah, but for me actually, I prefer a race where there's no paces because that's what I'm used to. Yeah. And in some ways it, it kind of evens the field because everyone's just dealing with, with themselves. Yeah. You know? um, so I, yeah, I'm, it's just what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. And a support crew who was out here helping? Yeah, you? Chrissy was supporting me. So I was really happy to, to have her support. It's really nice to share a race with her in a different way. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's super kind and gracious even when I um, chundered at <laughs> her feet in the middle of the night. <laughs> so yeah, I was that was a great. Because you and you two, and when you're racing, have a pretty strong rivalry. I mean, you've mm. 
you've actually raced yeah. at UTMB, yeah. you know, back and forth yeah. at, at Western States. You guys were probably, did you spend any time together there? Or no, no? Chris, Chrissy had caught me just before the end, but oh. I, I, yeah, kind of. You had disparate <laughs> paces at that point. <laughs> Yeah. Um, very well. Um, I guess um, one other question, I guess, would be, you know, you did uh, have a stomach issue later. I mean, it's kind of amazing to me that you <clears throat> dealt with pain for 75 miles, and then at that point, the pain was just so intense that. Yeah, and I, it kind of stopped me eating and drinking enough, and I think that's why I was sick as well. So <laughs> by the time I got back here, I think I was completely running on empty. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you you did do so successfully you're gonna have any time you're always racing and traveling and or running fun adventures mm. do you have any downtime this fall um well, the next race if my knee lets me is actually spartathlon in two weeks time <laughs> so the answer is no <laughs> not yet <laughs> has, i'll have to wait for a bit of time that'll be a bit of transition i mean you yeah. you uh you know spartathlon's a 135 mile road race or 160? What is 250k, it? I'm not sure. Okay, like, so yeah, yeah, like 260 or something yeah, miles. Road race, yeah. <laughs> Do you. I get the sense that you have a passion for being in the mountains. Yeah. Do you tailor your training at all toward when you have a road race on the schedule? Or? Um, usually I would, but earlier in the year. So, like, if, um, I've raced comrades in two oceans. So then earlier in the winter time kind of a bit more road running mm -hmm. um except where i'm living at the moment it's a bit hard to train on the roads at any time of year let alone in the winter Are they um, narrow uh, mountain roads or? <laughs> yeah and yeah not the snow free so um but for for spartathlon i mean i've been training and racing in the mountains all summer so i haven't run on the road at all all summer so I'm just gonna have to hope that the kind of mountain strength carries me through it was but it's, it's just one of those races I wanted to do for a long time because it's such a kind of iconic ultra so um yeah I'll see what happens but just look forward to something new yeah well enjoy the experience and am I correct and we'll see you in December uh maybe? hopefully yeah okay. yet to be decided but yeah, yeah. um Probably. I guess uh Speaking of decisions, when did you uh, start thinking about running Run Rabbit Run and when did you decide to come over? Um, it was actually in my head, I have to admit, before UTMB, but just kind of a vague thought. I wonder if I could get away with, <laughs> with running all three races. And then the way UTMB turned out, and it wasn't the UTMB at all, but a 100k trail race, um, I kind of thought, hmm, maybe... I'll see if I can do it. So, yeah. um, got in touch with the organisers pretty last minute, and they were just so kind to let me enter at the, the 11th hour. Yeah, well, we're glad you came over. Congratulations mm. on your win, and Thank make you. it uh, hopefully three of three in two weeks. Thank you. <laughs>